Dankeschön. Hello, everyone. Hello. I do not speak a lot of Austrian, so I'm going to speak for you in English tonight. Mike might throw the occasional word in. So we're going to start with a song called The Miller and His Three Sons. There once was a miller and he lived all alone. He had three sons all fully grown. When he went for to make his will, all he had left was a little old mill. And the sun comes up and the sun comes down to mark a brand new day. So they called to him his eldest son, son, no oh son, my race is run. If I am miller of you make, pray tell me what toll will he take? Oh, father, father, my name is John, and out of each sack I take a ton. You fool, you fool, the old man cried, out of such a little you can never make a ride of the sun. Comes up and the sun comes down to mark a brand new day. So they call to him his second son. Son, no oh son, my race is run. If I am miller, I'll be make. Pray tell me what toll will you take? Oh, father, father, my name is Ralph. In spite of each sack, I take a half. You fool, you fool, the old man cried. And to such a little you can never make a fight. And the sun comes up and the sun comes down to mark a brand new day. going to follow that with a love song called Richie's Lady. Um, we're all from the southwest of England, or vaguely-ish, and I learn a lot of my songs from people that I meet in sing-arounds around Devon and Cornwall, and this song comes from a man called Sean O'Shea, who has a wealth of fantastic songs, but he's too manly, masculine, to sing most of them. Um, so every six months or so, I go to his house and eat lots of biscuits. And uh, he songs, sings particularly girly songs at me. And I record them on my iPhone. So this song came about after one of those biscuit-eating afternoons.
a letter for you, madam. Here's a letter for you, madam. Here's a letter from the Earl of York and all in suit of you, madam. Don't say so to me, Richie. Don't say so to me, Richie. For I made a vow and I'll keep it true. And I'll marry none but you. To maintain you with madam, and I am going away, madam. I am going away, madam. I'm going away to London town. My friends, they long to see me, madam. Then I will. follow that with a bit of a sad song. Uh, this is a, a drowning ballad called Young Leonard and I learnt it from the singing of a gypsy singer called Amy Birch from Hallsworthy near Devon and it tells the story of a young man who goes swimming in a lake despite having been given several warnings not to and he meets his ends in this way. 
We have lots of songs like this which are warnings about things to do and because, or not to do. And because we live on an island, lots of these warnings are about uh, drowning. And, um, and it did make me think, do you have lots of songs here about skiing accidents? <laughs> or maybe too much schnitzel? A lot of songs about wine, yeah. We have, we have those as well, yeah. More beer than wine, but yeah. <laughs> it was early one morning, young Leonard arose, and after his cousin's bedchamber, he My dear cousin And let no one know Tis a fine summer's morning To the lakes let us go And they walked on together Till they came to Should they meet but a keeper of game? Crying, turn back, young Leonard, do not venture in. For there's deep and false water in the lake of Marsh Green. on together till they came to a lake Young Leonard took off his clothes, began for to swim He swam to an island He swam it twice round He said it's deep and false water and I'm sinking down And crying cousin, lovely cousin Do not venture in It was deep and false water And young Leonard was drowned And I 
saw a fair maid standing by the lake shore. Her face it was pale. She was weeping for her soul. In deep anguish she gazed where young Leonard plunged in. Ah, there's deep and false water in the lake of Marsh Green. going to play you some tunes, some English tunes now. Um, the first is a waltz uh, called The Lovely Nymph, and this is an 18th century country dance tune. Do you like waltzing here? Yes, we gather you do. There's a little bit of space down there if you fancy having a dance. And then we're going to follow that with two Cornish tunes. Um, these are Cornish dance tunes, uh, Cornish dance music. Uh, Cornish dances uh, are very similar to Breton dances, so everyone dances in a circle quite energetically. Uh, so we're going to play you two cabin pemps, which are tunes in 5-4, and they are called The Hills of Trencrom and Pedden Olver. Thank you. 
Thank you. This is a song called Locks and Bolts, and it comes from a time when men carried swords around with them wherever they went. I don't think they do that now. Certainly in Tristan's case, they carry iPads and hair curling tongs. <coughs> but I don't think the same can be said of all men, can it? No. no. I can't afford an iPad. <laughs> Maybe one day. And it's all about gallant men. It was over hills and valleys, oh It was over hills and valleys Where my true love was kept from me All out of spite and malice Well, I went down to her parents' house Inquiring for my lover Well, they said to me, she is not here She's at her uncle's house sleeping So I went down to her uncle's house Inquiring for my jewel Well they said to me she is not here Which seemed to me most cruel Well the young girl hearing of the noise Stuck her head out of the window Well she says you're mad Young man stood all in a maze, all in a maze and wonder Till at length he drew in a passion flew And he broke the door asunder Will a servant hearing of the noise He soon on him did follow And he says, young man, you must quit this room Or in your own blood water Took his sword all in his hand, his true love in the other. And he says, If you have more right than I, take one and fight the other. Take one and fight the other. with a song um, that my brother wrote for me quite a few years ago now when I was making an album called The Violet Tower, way back in 2008 <coughs> and uh, it's all about how daydreaming is often better than real life a bit of a cheery song and there's a chorus if you fancy joining in um, the chorus goes oh oh dance with me slow we're dancing the wishfulness waltz. Just show me which way to go when we're dancing the wishfulness waltz. But we only sing the chorus twice. <laughs> so you have to learn it all really quickly.
sorrows meant nothing at all. You were the first one, and I was just falling in love. Down by the end of Carlisle Street, under the street lamps, young lovers we'd meet, and the lilt of the tune swept me off of my feet. The wonderful wishfulness was, but time passes on and leaves nothing unturned. We're distracted by sparks while our fingers get burned. So I'll find another to dance with me slow to the tune. But oh, oh, dance with me slow. We're dancing the wishfulness waltz. Just show me which way to go. When we're dancing the wishfulness waltz. follow that with a Cornish song. In fact, this was the first uh, song ever to be translated from the ancient Cornish tongue into English. And it's a bit of an anthem in the southwest. People like to sing this song at the end of a really good night out. <laughs> All heartily. It's not over just yet. No, we're putting it in the middle. And... Um, it's all about birds and love and stuff like that. 
And there's a, a little tune that Mike and I wrote when we were putting this song together, and it was on a beautiful March morning, very much like today, and the sun was streaming through the window of Mike's study, and uh, we were full of the joys of spring, so we've named our little tune Persephone's Arrival in Bovey Tracy. Bovey Tracy is where I live. My sweetheart, come along Don't you hear the fun song? The sweet notes where the nightingale sing Don't you hear tale of the sweet nightingale as she sings in the valley below as she sings in the valley below my sweetheart don't fail I will carry
Thank you. It's murder ballad time. Hooray. An English folk concert wouldn't be the same without a good murder ballad. This is child ballad number 142, otherwise known as Young Johnson and the Young Colonel. And uh, we've cut this one down from 364 verses to about 200. And we'll rattle through them. It still contains all 26 stabbings, though. That's Erstichungen. But with only three victims. It's quite clever. Johnson and the young girl always are drinking at the wine. Oh, marry my sister Johnson, he said, and I will marry thine. Your sister I will never wed, not for all her gold and land. But a mistress she will make of me when I come o'er the strand. In a rage then Johnson drew his sword Which hung down by his knee And he's pierced it through the young colonel And word no more spoke he Johnson's away on his milk white steed to his sister's house when he Oh, I have killed the young colonel, thine only lover was he If you have killed my own true love, then woe be unto thee For I do swear and do declare that hang it you shall be so Johnson's away on his milk white steed To his true love's house when he Oh, I have killed the young colonel Thine no need brother was he If you have killed my brother, she said Then sad and sore I'll be But a careless for the young colonel Than I do feel for thee So come in now, my dear Johnson Come in and take your sleep While I do walk the castle round And careful what shall keep She had not walked the castle around a minute but back when four and twenty armoured men came a riding o'er the lee. Good morning, Lady Margaret. Good morning, then cried she. Well, I do not see a bloody square come a riding by this way. If light brown was his hawk, she said, and if dark brown was his hound. If milk white was his deadly steed, then he too rode from the town. So the knights they sent their spurs to horse, and they turned away from town. Margaret away to a true love's fair to tell him what she found. Johnson lay in a silent sleep And he dreamed that they were near Out as he drawn his sword so sharp And he stabbed his lady Oh, 
cause for this mighty Johnson? What cause for this cry, Jean? Well, I thought it was my deadly foe that you'd entice to me. But can you live, my dear Margaret, till the doctors can be found? How can I live then, Johnson? She said, when the blood comes trickling down. Your sword all in your hand And ride all yonder plain And think no more of thy true love Than if she'd never been He scarcely had been out of the hall Still covered all in gold When four and twenty swords so sharp Had pinned him to the door more tunes for you. These ones are written by the wonderful Mike. So he's going to introduce them for you. Right. Um, Does anyone know uh, where tango comes from? Argentina, yeah. Do you know where else they play a lot of tango? Finland. Finland, yeah. This is true. There is a sort of music called Finnish tango and half of it is like ordinary tango, and the other half, at least what I've heard, is like um, Slovakians who have taken a lot of drugs. <laughs> Playing music. And, um, and I, I like that stuff, actually, more than the, or- the more normal tango stuff. And a few years ago, I was listening to, s- to an album by a Canadian fiddle player called Oliver Schreur, a brilliant guy who sadly died in 2008. Um, and he had a guest on one of his albums who was called Maria Kaliniemi and she is a Finnish tango player and she made some brilliant records you should find them because they are amazing Um, so I thought I would write a tune a bit like some of her crazy music not quite as good but a bit like it so that's what I did I wrote three tunes actually um, and uh, I called them Finnish-ish in the end which is a sort of a a bit Finnish but not really So, so really this is Finnish music Um, imagined by a Canadian person, imagined by an English and also French person who is me. So that's it, really. Let's play them. Thank you. 
one more song for you thank you very very much for coming and listening and um, I know you're in for a real treat for the rest of the evening um, so before we sing our last song can I introduce to you my fantastic band so on guitar and bazooki we have Mr. Tristan Sume. <laughs> And on accordion and piano, we have Mike Cosgrave. And the lovely Jackie Oates. You can see what she does. And we're going to be selling some CDs in that little area there during the interval. Uh, we're going to leave you with a song called Hyperboreans, and this is a, a winter song designed to strengthen and unite people during the cold months. And there's a little Strathsby in the middle. <laughs> on every rivet The deeper we will have to breathe the air just to outlive it And the more the sun shines in the door 
before the month of fevers. The mark on snow, and so we know cruel Boreas deceives us. And if at twelve o'clock I walk a shadow's length behind you, the deeper I will have to dig the driven snow to find you. Chill our very marrow. We will strew our pillow with the rune, with the arrow. When Boreas again begins to blow a little harder, we'll go to our unwet bed, therein to make our harder. When Boreas at last relents. The sun again is shining. We'll let the rhythm guide the sense, and the sense misguide the rhyming. Love.